my breakup or whatever i was already planning to just i am trying to figure out my next hairstyle but i feel anyone can relate like i don't play with these why are you so much faster than the other ladies hey guys so it is thursday it's a gloomy gloomy day we were actually being threatened with a snowstorm today but it looked like it passed us i don't know what happened thank god because it's april what are we doing with <laughs> snowstorms anyways they're threatening us with um six inches of snow which is actually crazy crazy anyway so that's that's gone that's not happening um but i do have two events to go to tonight um i was telling you guys in the last vlog natorium natorium i don't know how to say it and um vichy so i did pick up my outfit the first one is like a cocktail type of thing mix and mingle and then the second event um is a sit down dinner and i picked up my outfit i was thinking to wear a dress but i'm like ooh, i have another, another event next week which is shea moisture and that one is usually usually very like dressy so i'm like i'm gonna save my dress for that event and i'm gonna do something different for this event so i'm gonna show you guys my little outfit i'll put it on later before i go i'll show you guys what it looks like on but um i want to show you guys what it looks like it's very simple um so i don't know about you guys but walmart has some really good jeans like i have been looking all over for jeans because nothing ever really fits me like my hips like the butt hip hips area is too wide for jeans like it's just it, i just never fit into jeans so i found these ones from walmart it's by the brand um it's by levi but it's the signature line. So it's just a straight leg jean and it fit me really, really well. I mean, it doesn't look so good, me holding it up, but if it, it fits really, really well. I almost feel like I should go down a size, but I already broke off the tags because I really liked it. And it's high waist, no, it's not high waist, it's mid rise. So it fits, sits right at the belly button. Um, and it's like a light wash jean, no rips or anything. So I'm going to be pairing this jean with this sweater that I got ages ago and I've never worn from um, Misguided. It's a turtleneck sweater. So it's just a simple turtleneck sweater that I'm going to pair with this jean. And then I got these boots, white boots, and I'm going to pair with this outfit. These were 10 bucks from Stitches. And then I have this little purse that I got from Shein. And that's my outfit. Really, really simple. Cute little outfit. I tried it on earlier and it looked good. So hopefully, hopefully it looks good. And yeah, that's my outfit. You guys will see it later. All right, guys. So this is the outfit on. I tried to tuck in the front here, but it keeps popping out. Anyways, it's, a, it's because the shirt, the sweater is not that long. Anyway, so the sweater is from Misguided, I told you guys. Pants is from Walmart. Boots are from Shein, not Shein, Stitches. And they were only 10 freaking dollars. $10 for those. And these pants are not high rise, so they sit right at the belly button. I like pants to sit a lot higher, but we're just gonna have to work with it. I did a dark lip and then my hair is just pulled back. And that's it. So. I'm still rocking my twist. I absolutely love wearing medium twist. Um, it's just so easy to do. Like I can pin some up, I can leave it down, I can flip it over, like you can do so much. Anyways, the last thing you guys saw, I was going to two events. I want to up you guys on that while I do my hair. So let's talk about the hair first. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be refreshing like the hairline and like down the middle. Um, these are super old. They're like two weeks old and they need to be washed, but I don't have time to do it today or tomorrow. So maybe even Wednesday. 
so I might have to do it Thursday. Anyways, I, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to take this out, wash it. So my plan is to just refresh it um, and pray that it looks okay. So to refresh, I just use a little bit of water, a little bit of mousse, and then of course hibiscus fusion hair oil, and that's it. Very very simple, and I don't redo a ton of twists. It's really just maybe maybe like. 12 pieces so the hairline and then some down the middle and the reason why I do that because it's the area that everyone's going to see when they look at me um, and when I put my hair back the these hairs are covering the messy ones underneath so you really only need to do a few so I'm gonna start with this twist and I'm gonna put these ones away. And I literally just untwist. Look, my hair is so frizzy. I don't know if you guys can even see all the frizz. Probably not, but it's so frizzy. Um, literally just going to unravel the hair and spritz it with just a little bit of water. Maybe about two spritz. Take a little bit of mousse. That might be too much for this small section, but that's okay smooth it through i'm not detangling finger detangling i'm not doing any of that i'm literally just trying to moisturize the hair a little bit um take a little bit of oil take maybe like a oops a drop of oil I actually got two drops but just a drop of oil and smooth that through the section If you want, you can definitely go ahead and add some gel, but like like I said, I'm going to be taking this out in like three days. I just want to refresh it because it's very, very frizzy. And then twist. That's it. Very, very simple. So I went to two events. I went to, the first one I went to was Vichy. Um, it was like downtown in like this marketplace. It was very different right by the CN Tower is very nice view. Set up like a lab, like a laboratory, which was really, really cool. Um, there's like people dressed as scientists. Some of them actually were scientists. Um, they had drinks and food, um, of course. They had, I don't know what she's called, but she did like a scalp analyst on me. My scalp was, my scalp was dirty. <laughs> and I had just freshly retwisted my hair. So there was a lot of like moisturizers and stuff on my hair. So she saw all of that on the camera and I'm going to insert that so you guys can see. So you can see that like my hair had build up. We freshly retwisted my hair and my hair was like one and a half weeks old. So of course there was some flaking. Of course there was some like residue build up. Um, but it was really cool to see on camera, not for everyone else to see that was standing around so embarrassed um, because everyone else's scalp, I mean me being black and them not being black, their scalp looked pretty much clean because they wash their hair like every couple of days and they don't put like a ton of product like we do. So it, mine was very different from everyone else's and I don't know if people are low key thinking like ew, but like it was moisturizer and oil. <laughs> Anyways, the scientist didn't make a face or anything. She, she's very educated on black hair. So it was really interesting to hear her thoughts on what she was seeing and like what products that she would recommend. So she said that I had dry slash oily, an oily scalp. Um, but with black hair, of course, our hair is tightly coiled or tightly curled. Um, our sebum doesn't make it down the length of our strands. So our strands tend to be drier than our scalp. Um, and then we use a ton of oils and products on our hair. So if we don't wash often, it's going to eventually build up and maybe start to flake. So, um, I mean, inf information that I already knew, she did recommend some of Vichy's products, which I may check out. She had given me a paper with like the exact products that I should try. Um, so I may check it out. I may actually try it. Anyway, so that was really neat. Uh, I didn't know a soul. I, actually, no, I did know one person at that party, at that event. Um, actually, no, two. So then after that event, I stayed for about an hour. After that event, I went over to... Oh, I did get a goodie bag from Vichy. 
I will show that to you guys, but my hands are kind of full right now. Um, did I get products? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Anyways, I will show that to you guys in a second. Anyways, me and a girl named Samantha, um, she's another influencer. We headed over to the next event, which is about 10 minutes away. This event, oh my goodness, I was not dressed for that event. I was underdressed. Yeah, I was underdressed. I didn't know what to expect. I did not know it was going to be so grand. Um, I felt like I walked into a wedding and I'll show you guys some footage. Like it was just so very, very pretty. Um, anyways, whatever. Um, I didn't know a soul at this event. I knew Samantha going in, um, but it was like a dinner event and it was arranged. Seats were arranged. So I was not sitting with Samantha. She was sitting at a next table and it was far away, far away from me. Um, so I was pretty much by myself <laughs> and oh my gosh, it was, just, I was just feeling very, very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable because everyone around me are like beauty influencers or like into makeup and like, I didn't know anyone beside me. It was just, oh my goodness. That one was probably the most awkward event I've ever been to. Um, I didn't stay too long. I didn't, I wasn't really talking to anyone. Anyways, that's besides the point. I just tried to go to these events to kind of, you know, meet new people, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that. And sometimes I'm not very sociable. And I could see like, there was a girl who was sitting across from me and I could see that she was feeling the same way I was feeling. I didn't know her, she didn't know me. And like this, it was so loud in there and like the seats are so far apart. I was just like, I'm just gonna just chill on my phone, take some pictures, eat, and get out of here. And anyway, so that event was Naturium. They just launched here in Canada. So their products are available at Shoppers, Drug Mart. Um, I only heard about them because of TikTok. Like, people have been going crazy about their body washes. I haven't tried anything yet. I did get some skincare stuff from them um in a pr package um their stuff got stopped at the border so we unfortunately at the event we couldn't get our little goodie bag that day but i think they're gonna send out a goodie bag at some point um when things work out um so i'm excited to try that stuff out so anyways i didn't get to try her i mean yeah so i never tried her to the products i did however talk to the owner or the creator for a little bit by the bar. I didn't even realize it was her, um, but she was. She had recommended for me to try her KB body scrub, I think she said, or exfoliator, I can't remember, but I definitely want to try it. Since she, since, since she recommended it, I want to try that one. And I think that's one of the most popular ones that people are talking about. So I want to try it. I'll let you guys know if I do get that in my goodie bag. Um, anyway, so that event was very, very nice. There was like massive projectors, good music was playing, great food, um, really great drinks. It was a nice event. I really wish that I knew people at that event because then I would have had a lot more fun. I would have stuck around a little bit longer. Um, it wouldn't have been as awkward. I was going to say maybe I would have dressed differently, but no, I really didn't know how it was going to be. I wasn't expecting something so grand so over the top um but it was very nice very well done i wish i knew the theme of the party i would have wore a dress um but anyways it's okay so that's that that's the two events that i went to i am trying to figure out my next hairstyle but i feel like i'm going to end right back up in twist but i'm thinking i'm going to be doing bigger twists this time around because I want to kind of rock a twist out. It's been so long since I've worn my hair like out, like really out. Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards doing larger twists so that way I can do a twist out. So I think that's the plan. I don't know, twists have been amazing. I've been loving doing twists and I've gotten better at like my parting. I've gotten better at organizing it on my head. Um, yeah, it's been good. It's been so easy. 
And when it starts to get really messy, you can just like spray it with some water and some mousse and throw on a scarf and you're good to go. So I've been loving how easy this has been. And you can really dress up this style. Put Just get a nice claw clip, put some up, put some down. Like you can really do some fun stuff with this. And when they start to get really frizzy, they kind of look like locks. So it's not too bad. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go off camera, finish these up, and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, so my hair is all done, and I just did, did my little half up, half down. Very simple with a clip, and I left two out in the front, and that's it. I may throw on a scarf to kind of lay it. I didn't do my edges. Like, I, I don't even do that. But, um, like, if I was going, like, out, out, then, like, I'd put a little extra mousse, maybe swoop it a little bit, and then put my scarf on. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to the library. So, um, like I said, I just refreshed the front and the ones at my very nape, like the two right here at the very nape to grab those little tiny hairs that I have at the back. And that's it. Very simple. I love this style. And you can do this on long hair and you can do this on short hair. If you don't like how short your hair is, you can create like a little bun and pin it up. So that way nobody sees how long your hair actually is if you want to. Um, but who cares? Short hair, long hair, who cares? Just rock it. Super easy to do. I love this hairstyle. This is definitely a staple, a go-to. It does take some time to actually put the twists in. Um, that process is that process is quite long. It's like I want to say it takes me like four hours or something, but I'm always like stopping and doing things. Um, but it takes me a long time to put these in. I blow it out, moisturize, and then I section everything and then start twisting um i do not really part the back half like i think i don't part up until like this point um yeah the area that people are going to see that's where i'm like okay i need to look in the mirror I can part this um but back here i don't care no one can see it it's covered it's completely covered you cannot even see you can only really see like right here i think and then right here, like you do not have to worry about the parting. It is completely fine. All right, you guys, so before I head out, I just want to do a quick unboxing. I have two packages here. I have one from Maybelline and then one from Naturium. Naturium, I don't know how to say it. All right, I'm gonna start with Maybelline. Oh, so actually, you know what? I actually opened this the other day just because I really wanted to see what was inside. Anyway, so this one's from Maybelline and when you open it, this is what it, this is what you see. So there are two stickers, lips and pepper. And then you get a little information card and then you get some crunchy Cheetos. So these are definitely very spicy. I think I've had these before. Well, not by Maybelline. Um, and then there's something stuck in here. Oh, some matches. I don't like matches. I prefer like the lighter that you just press the button and the flame comes out versus like the flicking and the swiping. I, I'm afraid of these things. So anyone can relate. Like I don't play with these. So some matches. I'm just going to stick that back, back in there. Also, there's a bottle of pepper sauce in here, but I put it in the fridge. I haven't used it yet, but there was a bottle of pepper sauce right here. As you can see, it's gone. And then there's some lip plump lip glosses i'm wondering if these like tingle your lips oh i don't need i don't need lip plumping lipsticks but anyways they're very pretty i wish they weren't plumping because then i would i would wear them but i really don't want my lips any bigger than they are so that's what they look like i can't really see the colors but there's like a peachy two pinks and like a nudie color Oh, that sucks. Anyways, shout out to Maybelline for that package. I definitely will pass on these lip plumps to someone with, you know, someone that wants bigger lips. All right, and then the next one is from Naturium. I think that's how you say it. I don't even know. So let's open this up. So when you open it, the wait is over. Naturium has landed in Canada. That's what it says on the inside. Shoppers Drug Mart. So you get a little booklet here. 
And that is the creator. So I was telling you guys earlier that I was talking to her at the bar while I was grabbing a drink. She's very nice, very friendly. Her name is Susan Yara. There was an event that I went to that was hosted at a salon and the creator was there at the event and she spoke to absolutely no one. She was very quiet, very distant. And it was very, it was, it caught everyone off guard because it's like, hey, we showed up for your event. We're here to support you. She never spoke to anyone. She didn't say thank you for coming. And usually at every event that you go to, they talk a little bit about the brand. Um, they may mention maybe some new things that are gonna come out, how long, you know, when they start a brand, just a little bit about them, a little bit about the brand, and thank you for coming. Nothing, there was absolutely nothing. And then we're like, oh, maybe she's like a small creator and like just blew up or something. Did a quick little research, did a quick little background check. She had like millions of followers, like 10 million, some crazy number. And it was just really, really, it was odd. It was very odd. Um, but yeah, I don't remember her name right now. It doesn't even matter anymore. It was very strange. People were <coughs> wondering like, why are we here? Anyways, so from Naturium, this is what is inside my box. And it's looking like skincare stuff. Um, so I'm seeing a, ooh a purple ginseng cleansing balm. So it looks like that. This I'm excited for because I love cleansing balms. I'm currently using one by the brand So Proud. I'll link it down below. I like it. It work, works really, really well. And it's lasting me quite some time. Um, I feel like these are the best when it comes to taking off your makeup versus makeup wipes. I feel like it's so abrasive. Not that the sheet or the makeup wipe itself is abrasive. It's just like how much rubbing I have to do to get the makeup off. And then I still have to go in the shower and still scrub it off. So this I love. I mean, sorry, these I love, bombs. So let's open this, see if it smells like anything. Unscented, which I like for face products. I'm very, very confused when like, Face products are like heavily perfumey, heavily scented. For example, Fenty Beauty. I don't know how it is now, but when Fenty Beauty first came out, her products had like, they smelt amazing, but why is there fragrance in skincare products? I thought that was a big no-no, but whatever. Um, I bought it one time and I never bought it again. Um, but unscented, no smell. I will let you guys know how I like this because I do love cleansing balms. Um, the next thing is, it's, it's stuck in here. I think it's like glued down. Anyways, the next thing is a BHA liquid exfoliant. Um, this one is a serum and the next one is a moisturizer. Oh, so that's really, that's nice. So it's like the whole set right there. Remove your makeup, exfoliate, use a serum and then a moisturizer, nice. All right, I definitely will check, I definitely, oh, I didn't get a, um, toner read a little bit more about these but shout out to suzanne for this lovely package i definitely need to get my hand on the body washes yeah i do need to do that anyway so those are the two packages also someone commented on my last video asking for my salmon recipe which is so funny because i posted that recipe probably like during the pandemic so like maybe three years ago. And a lot of you guys loved it. When I posted that recipe, you guys loved it. So I'm going to make it again, but it's gonna be slightly different just because this recipe is even better. Um, but like, I'll let you know what not to do if you don't want, if you want, you know, the old one. Um, but yeah, anyways, that recipe, you can't find it. It's on my old channel. That channel is private. Um, I no longer use it. I'm going to be doing everything on this channel, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, whatever, on this channel. Having the two channels was actually a pain. Even before like my breakup or whatever, I was already planning to just cut off that channel because having the two was just, one would always get neglected and the beauty channel started to get, I guess, get put on the back burner because I really started to enjoy vlogging. Um, so it just makes more sense to do one channel. And I even have a few friends who have the two channels and they're like, I really like vlogging. Like <laughs> the main channel, 
whatever. Anyway, so you get what I mean. It's easier to just have one. And I prefer to have all of you guys in one place instead of like, I come on here, I'm like, oh, you guys, did you remember in that video on my vlog channel, I did this, this, and this, and then half of you guys are like, what, what happened? So anyways, it's just easier, easier, it's just easier. Um, and I've been thinking about it, thinking about combining the two channels for a long time, for a long time. Um, anyways, so you can't find that recipe, but I will be making a salmon probably today. So it might be in this vlog. Um, Cause I did buy the salmon yesterday. So anyways, stay tuned for that. And I'm just, ha I just have my hair tied down right now just to keep it staying nice and flat before I head out. So I figured I'll show you guys what it looks like when I lay it down. It lays nice and flat and it's, it looks a little bit neater. It's not as frizzy. And it looks fresh, like I freshly did my hair. I don't even know if this is the right lighting to show you guys all of this, but yeah, it's nice and neat. And yeah. So I am on, I mean, not, not on my way, but I'm going, I'm about to leave to go to the library um, to get some editing done and probably cook later. I've been meal prepping. I forgot, I don't think I mentioned that. I've been meal prepping. So like last week I did butter chicken and some pasta or penne. Um, and I did a salmon, rice, and I bought like a pre-made salad from the superstore. Um, so yeah, it was good. Like I didn't buy food at all last week. The only time I bought food was Saturday. Um, I got a pizza for Amari and I. Um, which wasn't so bad. So like I spent zero dollars on food, which is crazy because I would spend so much money on food um, almost every day. Like I would buy Tim Hortons for breakfast, maybe on a Friday, Amar and I would get McDonald's. Oh, I didn't spend any money last week, which was so nice. To just come home, dish out stuff from the fridge that I cooked that tasted really good and just warm it up and eat. That was really nice. I like, I actually enjoyed every meal that I made so i've been counting calories i've been cooking more i've been going to the gym i'm hoping to see some really good results next month at the end of next month and if i do i will share what i will share exactly what i'm doing but right now i'm kind of just watching to see if this is gonna work i'm not doing anything crazy nothing crazy um, just eating clean really and working out. That's really what it is. Um, but anyways, I'm going to head out now because time is passing me by. And yeah. Oh, also I want to share with you guys, I had another laser session. So this time she, the laser was set to eight. Last time, I'm pretty sure last time was 7.7. .7. And this time was eight. Like, that's not that big of a difference. Like, it was like three points. Anyways, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure she told me it was 6.7 and 7.7. .7 and then this time, eight. And it's always a different lady. And, like, they all do the lasering different. Like, I don't know who's my favorite. You can't pick who you get. You get who you get. <sighs> I feel like the best lady was... The first lady was the best. She was very, very thorough and I was happy. The second lady, I feel like she like missed spots. Like I couldn't see what, what she was doing, but like I could feel like, ah, uh, I don't know. I'm not very happy with the last two sessions that I had. Something just, it's just making me feel like they weren't thorough, though I could not see what they were doing because they, they cover your eyes, of course. Um, well, no, this lady covered, like, covered my eyes. Usually I just wear goggle, goggles and I can see, but she actually put, like, tissue and then the goggles. I don't know. I'm very... I don't know. Anyways, this time around, in terms of pain, this was my third session. In terms of pain, it wasn't very painful. Like the second session, I was actually nervous for my third session because I'm like, whoa, second session, like it was really feeling kind of like it was really stinging. But this session was like less painful than the last session, which was odd. I don't know. 
I even said that to her and she was like, uh, what'd you say? It could be because that she put up the cooling, the cooling air. She put the cooling air up higher, which it was. It was up really, really high, which was good because it was less painful. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'll let you guys know how session four goes. But this last girl, she was much younger than the other two ladies. Um, I feel like she was even faster. And that was, that was a little bit concerning. Like, why are you so much faster than the other ladies? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that last session. I really don't know. Anyways, that's just a little bit of an update. Um, a lot of you guys said that you are doing laser as well and you guys are like at the end of it and I should keep going, which I am. I've already paid for my 10 sessions. So it's everything's paid for. I can't get my money back, so I'm not stopping. But I only did five sessions for my face. I definitely need to do more. Yeah, I need to do more. So I'm gonna add another five. I'm just waiting for their like deal. I think it's 40% off right now. When I did my 10 sessions, when I paid for it, um, it was like 60% off. So I'm hoping like to get another 20% off some way, somehow. Um, but yeah, anyways, so that's that. I will talk to you guys later.